darlings and welcome back to Dining Through the Decades. I realized I never introduced myself, so my name is Sage Lillyman and in today's episode we're going to be making Lord Walton pie. This pie came about in 1940 during World War II by a chef in London who made this pie specifically for the Minister of Food at the time, Lord Walton. The Ministry of Food in Britain promoted this pie as being nutritious and healthy as meat wasn't readily available during World War II, so people were eating a lot more vegetables and were encouraged to grow vegetables at home in their victory gardens. So they printed a recipe for the Lord Walton pie in 1941 and the pie can either be made with a wholemeal pastry on top or mashed potato and because I'm an avid potato lover of course I'm going to be putting mashed potato on mine. So let's get into it. So to make this Lord Walton pie we're going to need some carrots, swedes, potatoes, cauliflower and onion. All of the recipes for the Lord Walton pie called for carrot and I'm not going to be peeling off the skin because I feel like to go with the whole rationing we're going to save everything. No waste. And so for all of these vegetables that we're putting in, we're putting in half a kilo or one pound of each vegetable. So next we have some potatoes here and I'm just gonna chop these up and then we'll do the cauliflower and the swede. All right, now that we've chopped up the potatoes, in the pot they go. All right, and I'm just gonna peel this sweet and then chop it up and put it in the pot along with everything else. And if you don't have sweet available to you, you can use parsnip or turnips or something like that. Oh my. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so I just sharpened this. It's kind of nice. They've been around for 50 years. This is terrible! We'll have to save some for the chickens. Yummy, yummy. Alright, swede in the pot. <laughs> they make you pay for all of this extra... For all this extra weight, but we don't need any of this stuff. All right, so with this huge head of cauliflower, we're going to only be using a small part of it, half a kilo. So I'm just gonna weigh it to make sure. Oh no. <laughs> okay, yay. Okay, so this is half a kilo here. And I'm just going to chop this up into little florets. Fl florets? I think that's what it's called. Florets? Put your cauliflower trees into the pot. God, I'm making such a mess. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have sweeping to do after this. Good golly, it's like it snowed in here. This is going to make a lot of pie. <laughs> this is a lot. I don't know whether I have a big enough dish. All right, and the next thing we're going to add into our pie filling is an onion. Now, onions weren't very available during World War II, and the ones that were available in Britain were very, very expensive. So lots of people decided to start growing them in their victory gardens. So only one onion. This is a treasured possession. Yeah, so just chopping the onion lengthwise and then putting it in. So we're going to fill this up so the water is just covering the vegetables. So 
Okay, so into the pot we're going to add a tablespoon of rolled oats and a teaspoon of vegetable extract. Well, this is a heaped teaspoon. I assume I'm gonna need more than that, but we'll start with that. If you don't have vegetable extract, you can also use Marmite. And we're gonna turn this on to high heat and cook this until all the vegetables are cooked. All right, just gonna pop the lid on and we'll leave it there for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, so I took the lid off as soon as it started to come to the boil so that it was nice and hot, but I still want the water to evaporate and the oats to kind of thicken it all up. And the potatoes are done here. So I'm just gonna drain these and we'll make the mash. All right, so I'm just gonna mash these potatoes up while that's still cooking. And you can make your mashed potatoes however you like them, but I assume because of the World War II rationing, there wouldn't have been much, if any, butter in this. You'd have been saving up all your, um, all your drippings to put into this. I like to add a little bit of boiling water into my potatoes to make them kind of go a bit further and are nice and creamy without adding in extra milk or anything and a little bit of butter as well. And we can't forget salt, the star ingredient, the pear ingredient when it comes to potato. All right, I'm gonna set this to the side and have a little look at this and see how it's going. There seems like there's a lot of water, um, and I know that is something with this Lord Walton pie, is that it is a little bit watery because the only thing thickening it is oats, and there's only a tablespoon in there. So we'll see. It might be a little bit of a watery pie, and I might need to drain a little bit of the water off. I think it needs a couple more minutes. And I'm just greasing the pan greasing the dish before we add in our pie filling. I think that's all right now. There's so much liquid though. I'm gonna taste test before I put it in the oven so I can add some more flavoring in if I think it's a bit too weak. I need some more flavoring. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more vegetable powder in here because it needs a little bit more. A little bit more oomph. And it's quite watery. I kinda wanna take some liquid out, but may maybe it will, like once I put the mashed potato on top, it might just all kind of blend together a little bit better. But it is very liquidy. Okay, so I'm gonna start ladling this into the dish because I know if I try and tip the whole pot, it's gonna be a disaster and stuff's gonna go everywhere. But yeah, looking very liquidy. Maybe I'll just try and scoop up all the vegetables and leave a little bit of the liquid in the pot. That's a good idea. And if you are putting a pastry on this, I think try and do wholemeal because that's what they would have done in the 1940s. They didn't have any lovely white refined flour to use. It was wholemeal. Okay, so I filled up my baking dish here and I'm not gonna add any more to it because I wanna leave a bit of room for the mashed potato on top. So with this leftover, there's a lot of liquid in here. So I think I'm gonna put this aside and this can be like a soup, Lord Walton soup a new creation. So to put over the top of this pie, I'm going to finely chop some parsley and scatter that over, and then we put the mashed potato on the top of that. Hopefully I have enough. I did as many potatoes as I could fit in the pan. 
I used a kilo of potatoes in this recipe. <laughs> I love it. You can even add a little bit of cheese if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and put it in the oven until the top of the potato browns. The lower bulletin pie is ready, so let's see how it looks. It smells really good. I mean, it smells like potato, and that's delicious. There's not any fancy herbs and spices in it, it's just parsley, so you could make it a little bit more fancy if you added in some chives or rosemary and thyme, that would make it really nice. But it's simple because we're going with the original recipe, so let's dig in and see what it's like. Ooh. Oh my. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, it's very liquid. I thought it might have thickened up in there. <laughs> Anyone for soup? <laughs> okay. I can't present this very nicely. That looks terrible. <laughs> look, at the, look at my terrible plating up. I want some mashed potato on top and I can't, it just melts into the, into the soup. So this is kind of a little bit of <laughs> a sad serving. It doesn't look very presentable, but we've got some gravy. It says to serve it with some brown gravy, so we're gonna add that on. Oh, that looks so sad. <laughs> Let's hope it tastes really good to make up for the sad side that it is, All right? A little bit of mashed potato, a bit of gravy, a bit of carrot. That's a classic. Tastes like a baked dinner with the potato and the carrot and the onion. And you get a bit of turnip now. <laughs> I can totally see why this was really popular. It's so tasty. As soon as you add gravy, really, anything tastes good. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Seriously, babe, it's really good. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't have any more comments. I'm just gonna polish this off. Don't mind me. That was how to make Lord Walton pie. It's absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend making this. If you want to try this out, I've linked the recipe down below. It's delicious and the only thing I would change is adding a little bit of flour in to thicken up the sauce. But other than that, yum. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next week for the third episode of Dining Through the Decades. Bye! I just said that really weird. Oops, <laughs> did you hear me? <laughs> My belly. I don't need any any Lord Walton pie. I just I can do with my mashed potato. Going like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs>